Joe, out in uh, out in Q2, but comparatively better than it's been looking for the for the weekend. How happy were you with how qualifying went? Yeah, I think uh, you know today in qualifying for my side, I learned extract everything I had because uh, yeah my unfortunately my second qualifier the new tire we had uh, I had a flat spot into turn four and the lap was pretty much ruined by then so quite unfortunate because I think we was looking good in Q1 and uh, Q2 from my side I felt like it was difficult to get the balance right so we have to see but uh, with all that penalty it could be a bit up. Where was that Q1 lap from? That was astonishing. Yeah I mean it wasn't a clean lap I locked up into turn one as well but uh, I just had uh, quite a good grip and confident to push the car through the corners and uh, consider especially we don't have three sets of new tyre for Q1 so I think it was a good lap and uh, Q2 I was expecting to be a little bit better but then unfortunately we couldn't get a clean lap out of myself so yeah. Hello Valtteri, Hello. good run today, uh, it looked like it had been a, a difficult weekend up to this point but quality seemed to just completely flip for you guys. Yeah, it seems more definitely feels more positive and, and seems more positive than in the in the recent events. And actually, by purely focusing all weekend just for the race pace and setting up the car for the race and doing more long runs than short runs, it, it's good to see that we're quite close to Q3. So um, it's a decent step. Uh, obviously, big penalties uh, coming for you for tomorrow. But having spent the whole weekend working on that race setup, what are your hopes for tomorrow? The car feels now nice in the long runs. So I'm I'm really hopeful that we. We have the race pace to move up to the top 10. Um, that's, that's a good target for tomorrow.